so many women who have tried dip powder nails call it the ultimate manicure. The color is said to last longer, but one Chicago salon tells me they will not offer this service at all, and they're doing it to protect their customers. With so many colors and manicures to choose from, Christine La and her sister Tuyen Day say they are always keeping up with the latest trends to keep their clients happy. But when it comes to the dip powder method, that's not anything we would even risk doing, no matter how much it is, you know, no matter how much we would profit from it. Here at T Nail Bar in Rogers Park, the ladies say they get lots of calls about dip powder manicures. But for sanitary reasons, Law says they have to turn them down. All it takes is for one person with something, you know, a fungus or anything, to dip their hands in there, and then everyone else after that may or may not be affected. It's a nail technique in which customers pick a color, then dip their fingers into a jar of powder. The technician seals the powder with a special bonding polish and then files down each nail to create a shiny coat of color. But the concern lies in the jar, where different customers are dipping their fingers into the same container over and over. People need to be aware of uh, the risks that they're taking. Oscar Juarez is a microbiologist at the Illinois Institute of Technology. He says bacteria can survive in this powder for weeks and can lead to serious infections. And with customers dipping their nails day after day, they won't be able to tell what might be lingering in the jar. Juarez believes certain groups may even be more susceptible to contracting an infection after dipping. People with diabetes, people with cancer for sure, people who are pregnant, you can get a very uh, serious infection out of this. Juarez says there are ways you can reduce your chances of infection, like bringing your own jar that's exclusive to you or having your technician shake the powder on your nails as opposed to dipping them in the jar. But here at T Nail Bar, they say they are skipping dip altogether and putting their customers' health first. I don't think we'll ever cave in to that trend. And if you're thinking of buying your own dip powder to bring to a salon, understand that the powder itself is not cheap. They can cost anywhere from $20 to $40, depending on the size of the jar. And uh, Juarez also says that if you are looking online, you may see some cheaper powders, some off-brand powders, but he said those could actually be toxic. So he said stick with the brands Ooh. you know and trust and check the reviews. But he also emphasized that a lot of these beauty techniques and procedures come with risks. So. Sure. You know, at times we're just kind of throwing a dice a little bit, you know? Yeah, mm -hmm. I guess so. I think a lot of people are watching this, though, Sam, and going, oh, no, just I thinking mean, about it, it. It's in the culture, no double dipping. Yeah, no double dipping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah okay. it goes for hummus and nail powder. Hummus and <laughs> nail powder, love it. Hey, if you like that video, be sure to subscribe to our ABC7 Chicago YouTube channel.